not doing very well, am I? Session's not off to a great start. But I feel like that mission with Hank and Connor, he was supposed to get mad and draw the gun. And I successfully talked him down. But I unlocked a path since he's tense now. And that does not make me feel good. Does that mean he's gonna stay tense and I can't fix it? I hope not. Whatever. We just... We gotta keep going. Am I back in the garden? I am back in the garden. Is it... It was snowing a couple hours ago. And now it seems so warm and happy. Okay, where's Amanda? She's not there. I don't think she's there. Oh, she's on the boat! Wait, is that Amanda? She's not wearing her uniform. I'm gonna do this again. Every time I come to the garden, I'm gonna do it again. I have no idea what that does. Over the river and through the woods. To talk to Amanda. I haven't found another deviant since talking with her. So why am I here? Weird. Hello, Connor. Hi, Amanda. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Okay. Thank you. I'm an android. I'm not supposed to enjoy anything, but... Hush. Yay, I got to go on the boat! <laughs> okay. Is it? It's not going very well, is it? We gonna talk at all? I love this place. Obviously. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. I tend to agree. Tell me, what have you discovered? I don't think she cares about Hank all that much, but... I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but... They managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. I wasn't gonna kill him! Do I have to hold these down anymore? Oh, okay. <laughs> you seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Well... I'll trust you in this one instance. I'll trust you. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. Shouldn't have been honest. She doesn't care about me. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. How do you know that? Why didn't you shoot? No, you... No use? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Uh-oh. I know I will succeed. Mm. All I need is time. Mm. It's not, we don't have a whole lot of that, Connor. Um, how Something many hours into this game? What? Something serious. Something wicked this way comes. Hurry, Connor. Okay. Time is running out. I, I know that! God damn it! <sighs> every time I try to be honest with people, it doesn't work, and every time I decide to lie, it still doesn't work! God damn it! You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Come on! Sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, Hi, Hank. dear lord in heaven. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. 
Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Mm, don't they all? Ah, don't they crazy. always? Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. You check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. I know what you're gonna find up there. Should we check it out? They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Hello. If I sound and look defeated, it's because I am. Station employees I feel like I've away. lost my grip on this. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. Okay. How many people were working here? Accomplice? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage, broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. We found the body of an android on the rooftop. Simon. I'm not sure what happened. PL 600, that's Simon, yeah. PL, that, that's Daniel's model. I know that, right? want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants. Did it. I'm, I have something still locked, apparently. Am I missing something? Oh, hello. More. PL 600. Daniel was a PL 200, wasn't he? And he was gonna be replaced by, I'm assuming, a more advanced model. But he still looks like Daniel. That's crazy, but okay. There it is. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Oh, hi. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. The I'm android the android sent, sent by, by Cyberlife. Cyber yeah, right. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? Send a thief to catch a thief? For everything that happened. He's not gonna cover for me. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You send me off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. Your crap? Oh, I hate it when they say that. What a fucking prick. Right? I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. This isn't a pissing contest. We're investigating a crime. Yeah, we need to work together. What's this? Oh, more blood from Simon. Yeah, he got fucked up real good. Okay, Lieutenant. Can I please talk to you, Hank? I need to make this better. Inspect the broadcast room, check the rooftop. I've got lots of stuff to look at. I just... Is that North's hat? Assailants are disguised. More blue blood. God, Simon got messed up so bad, dude. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm not. I'm not going to the roof until I've investigated everything in here. Bullet. Assault rifle. Yeah. We were not using assault rifles. They were. Alrighty. Oh, more blood or more bullets. Window. Bullets. Okay. Assault rifle again. I feel like a ru and I know it's my first playthrough. I'm not supposed to know what I'm doing. 
but I still feel terrible. You guys are really rooting for me and I'm fucking up everything. I'll watch it, sure. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA-9? No. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Wait, are you saying Marcus is our- that would exp- I'm- I always assumed that they knew who RA-9 was. These deviants that Marcus has nothing to do with still know who RA-9 is. That's so weird. He can't be. He has the ability to make deviants. And only deviants believe in RA-9, but... That is so weird. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, a pupil reflection. Look at that. Well, I mean... Okay, yeah, I knew that already, but Connor didn't, I guess. At this point, I'm just gonna do this. I need to improve my re re uh, relationship with Hank. So... As far as I know, Jericho's location is secure for now, so I can just focus on solving this. Maybe. Blue Iris, that's a spare part. Yeah, that's not mine. I got that from a junkyard. Um, it's the LED, right? Apparently not. Okay. Okay, I'm not finding a clue. Oh, good lord. Why is a clue there? RK series. RK-200, registered as Marcus. <gasps> oh my god. No way. He was a gift from Elijah Kamsky, the founder of Cyberlife and the inventor of androids. Gave Carl Marcus as a gift. I think Elijah has some ulterior- maybe Elijah is RA-9. He's not an android, sure, but he could be like their- he wants them to be free. He saw them being enslaved and treated terribly by humans, so he locked himself up in his house with his androids and just let the androids do the work. You see something? Strange. I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Connor. Nothing. If my relationship was better with him, would I have told him? Or is it because he's not an android? And I just watched that video and oh no. Wait, that wasn't the CCTV- Oh no, CCTV is security cameras, right, idiot. Okay. Here it is. Oh boy. That's Josh and North. That's me and Simon. They didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. They're in a room full of cameras. Why wouldn't they? That is weird. Uh? Oh, right. We, we stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. They saw what was happening on the cameras. In the kitchen. Where the heck is the kitchen? I should probably go to the rooftop, but I assume... Yeah, rooftop is the last thing on the list, so I assume if I go up there, I'm ending the investigation. And I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go talk to the androids in the kitchen. 
Hank, for the love of God, can I, like, just give you a hug and talk to you? Please? That one... That one mistake. That was from a handgun. Right, we, we fired back. But that one freaking mistake where I left Hank hanging off the building has put me in such a bad spot. This is being so hard to fix, and I fixed it, but then I fixed it right before a mission where Hank's supposed to get mad at me. So now he's he's mad at me again. Ugh! Okay. How Cyberlife created a technological revolution is Mars your next holiday destination. Good lord. Bleeding blue. Oh, right, I gotta do the touchpad now. After decades of Android designs that were primitive, robotic, and expensive, Cyberlife revolutionized the industry and did good through an innovation of their CEO and visionary Elijah Kemsky. Therium 310, the chemical name of Blue Blood, which is a trademark, is a compound vital to the functioning of all Cyberlife androids circulating energy and electrical information throughout the machine's body. Yeah, okay. I gathered that much. This fluid powers biocomponents, synthetic organs that roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Some of these organs serve important functions, maintain temperature, circulating blue blood, and so on, where others are used to make the androids seem more human, lungs to simulate breathing. Ooh. As with androids, the loss of blue blood will impair an android's functions, ultimately resulting in shutdown. Blue blood is essential for Cyberlife's androids' key selling point, how human they seem. That is wonder chemical... That, that this wonder chemical, both a power supply and a way of regulating androids' internal systems, was developed by one man who isn't even a trained chemist, only furthers the myth of Elijah Ga He's an android. But how- he invented androids! Like, let's- that's freaking chicken or the egg shit! That doesn't make any sense. He, he can't be an android, unless he's not the inventor of an android. I have no idea. Mass forest fires expecting in California, Arizona, and- Oh! So the mass fires thing expands beyond California in 20 years. Sweet! Yeah, it's fire season right now. I haven't been able to go outside without smelling smoke for about a week now. It sucks. My car is covered in ash. It's, it's the worst. Detroit Urban Farms is changing the way we eat. Miami to heighten seawall by further 10 meters. Aye. Oh, wait. No, get out of here. I, I, I swiped down. America's urban centers all face two growing problems, unemployment and lack of access to healthy, low-calorie food. But Detroit Urban Farms, a pilot scheme in Michigan's capital city, may have to find a solution to both. DUF is an urban initiative that takes city dead space, such as high rooftops and unused courtyards, and turns them into GM-free farmland. These farms are then staffed by urban unemployed, offering decent wages and supervisory roles to people who might otherwise turn to welfare or crime. Would you stop? I'm swiping down! When brothers Daniel and Parker Trent started the initiative five years ago, they couldn't even get funding. We went to every bank in the city, but nobody would lend us enough for a shovel. Now DUF employs over 50 staff supervising hundreds of androids. We get requests every day from investment firms offering us capital, but we'd rather stay independent. The ethical side of what we do is more important to us. That's, that's good. If it means fewer unemployed and better quality food on the table, who could object? Point! Okay, now back to me trying to trying and failing to fix my mistakes. All right, here we go. Hello, gentlemen. All they had to do was see me on the camera. I didn't even have to touch them. Um, I know your model. Function. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Okay. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Okay. Contact? Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Seems pretty legit right now. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. That's creepy! 
Okay, that is creepy. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. I'm try. Uh... Guilt? Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. I think it's the one on the left. I think it's the one on the left. He was he was kind of like like oh god when I said that. I think it's you. Come on, buddy. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Oh, Connor, geez. Destroyed. Holy shit, dude. Hey, maybe it's not you. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, 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 you looked at me. You looked at me. I saw that. I saw that. He looked at me. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. He looked at me. I saw that. Torture? Holy shit, dude! I'm not doing that! He's looking at me. He keeps shifting his eyes. These guys aren't doing that. Are you doing that? You're not doing it. It's him! It's him! Look at him! He's the only one doing it! He's done it three times now! He's the only one that's doing it! I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna bluff. I'm gonna try and bluff I don't he might not he not he might not buy it that's the thing with the bluff it's a 50 50 but I could always probe his memory but I don't want him to self-destruct either even though that doesn't seem to be a thing anymore it's totally you you're the only one with the shifty eyes it's totally you but how do I get you to fess up um I, I don't want to be violent I'm not gonna torture him I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try bluffing. The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's him. There's no point in lying. I know everything. Oh! Oh God, dude, you scared me. Ah! Oh well, that. Almost... Oh Jesus, Lord Almighty! Hank.
Oh my god. Am I alright? Oh god, no, I can't go straight into a chase! I'm too stressed! Stop it! Um, I gotta save Hank, attack, take the gun. He is gonna fucking shoot me! Oh god, Hank. Hank. Yes! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Good thing you were here. Otherwise I'd... Ah! No! Oh my god, no! I just killed Connor! No! no! with him I went for it I cannot believe that just happened I was so close to going for the gun but I wanted to save Hank I wanted I wanted him to like me again I'm done I'm done I can't I'm not I am NOT doing this I didn't even get up to the roof that is not okay. I am starting the game over. Okay? On my own time, starting it over. You know what? I'm gonna go back and fix the rooftop thing too. I'm gonna do that too. Fuck it! If I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna reset this mistake, I might as well reset another one. I'm gonna play through the entire game leading up to this mission, Public Enemy. I'm going to save Hank on the building and I'm gonna do this differently. Cause holy shit, that couldn't have gone worse. Done. Done. Nope. Yep. Done. That's it. Done. That's what I'm gonna do. The decision is made. You guys can't change my mind. By the time you guys see this, it's already done. My game's already gone. I've already restarted it. I'm gonna... I told myself, I told myself, I told myself that I was gonna go through this entire game and accept my decisions no matter what happens, but I was not prepared to let Connor die. I was, I was not, that, that was such a shock. Oh my god, from the moment he freaking ripped my whatever that was out. Good lord, he fucking lost it. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. That was so scary. And then I saved Hank and his thing went up and I was like, yay. Like I thought, I thought I saved him and that we were all good. But then he turned around and I was dead on the ground. I'm pulling a Markiplier when he got Chris and Ashley killed in his Until Dawn playthrough and he went back and played through the entire game to save them again. If he gets to do it, I can do it, okay? I'm gonna go back and play through the whole game. I'm gonna save Hank on the building because that's where this whole thing started to go to shit. God, today's session did not go well. It's an hour and a half. Maybe three or four episodes of Detroit, I think. Um, so this will last us about a week or two which gives me plenty of time to go back and fix this! All the characters, whether it's a good ending or a bad ending, Connor, Marcus, and Kara are all making it to the end alive. Kay? Kay?